Hey, it's Vince with Spradley Kia, and today I'm going to go over the EX Carnival uh, with you guys, uh, which is a really cool vehicle, a uh, highly sought after vehicle. I'm going to go over kind of the everyday features that the average consumer would want uh, things like the climate, the power lift doors, the power sliding doors, the fact that the sliding doors can open upon approach, so you don't even have to hit the button to open them, which is kind of cool. Kia Connect, um, entertainment features, power. T um, passenger talk, passenger view, which is really cool. So the built-in camera on the inside of the car, um, numerous interior features that, like I said, the everyday consumer would probably want to know about. Um, if I can help anyone within a 500 mile radius of me order a car, purchase a car, uh, please let me know with my contact information on my channel. Um, but today I am going to show you the really awesome Kia Carnival uh, in ceramic silver. All right, guys, stay tuned. Hey everybody, it's Vince from Spradley Kia here in Southern Colorado, Pueblo, Colorado. And today I have quite the treat. I have the only EX Carnival in the state of Colorado that is available for sale as of today, March 1st. If you were to search all of Colorado, this is the only one on the ground for sale, not spoken for. And honestly, someone from Arizona backed out of this car. They were gonna travel all the way to Colorado to get it. Uh, so I am going to do a video on it because it is a highly sought after vehicle and I am lucky enough to have one here in the flesh. Uh, so again, this is a 2023 EX Carnival in ceramic silver with gray interior. It also has the entertainment package in it, which I will go over. Um, it has a lot of cool features that I'm going to go over. Uh, so this might be a little bit of a lengthy video, uh, but please stick through all the way to the end uh, because this is just such a cool car, especially when we get into the cabin. But again, highly sought after vehicle, and I am surprised this is the only one in a 500 mile range for me right now on the ground for sale uh, as of March 1st of 2023. Right away at the front, you gotta love the daytime running lights on these cars. Um, I am a huge fan of Kia's daytime running lights and this one has kind of this little swirly, uh, not, well, not really a swirl, almost like a cursive, I don't even know how to describe it, but it's like, goes from right there all the way around and around, but it's such a cool design very distinguishable uh, when there's a carnival behind me on the road at night I definitely know what it is you have the LED lights and you have the tiger nose grill right across the front you do have Kia signature badging right across the front as well you have your parking sensors forward sensors right there part in the shadow fully functional vents you have 19 inch tires on the uh, alloy wheels, which are really cool. Uh, this car drives like a dream. It honestly is uh, very easy to drive. I mean, multi-purpose vehicles, what we call them. Uh, we don't call them minivans anymore. They are multi-purpose vehicles and uh, they drive so smooth. They drive like a car. Um, you can't even tell, which explains its popularity because it's nothing like the Kia Sedona, which is its predecessor, which not uh not everyone's favorite vehicle let me tell you definitely great um we just didn't sell a lot of them at least not at my dealership uh, we cannot keep these carnivals in stock i really love this two-toned mirror cap uh, you have the black on the bottom and the ceramic silver on the top with the led turn signal right there you have your one press button right here to lock and unlock the vehicle so uh if you press it once it'll unlock just the driver's door if you press it twice in succession it'll unlock all four doors uh, which is kind of cool uh same thing in the reverse it will lock all four doors with uh, with a rapid press and just lock your door with a single press there's a dozen different ways that's i'm exaggerating but there are many different ways to open this sliding door and i'll go over that here in just a second um I'm just going to come around here to the gas cap. Gas cap is on the driver's side. It is a push and pop. So if the car is unlocked, you just press that button, kind of at the cap in general, and it'll pop open. If the car is locked, uh, you cannot get into the gas cap, which is kind of cool. I really do love this C-pillar design right here on the top. And then I love how Kia is tinting the glass. Uh, I've had a lot of comments on that. I used to do a lot of window tinting for customers and we'd have to tint all the way around. But lately, people have honestly been matching the front tint to the back tint, 
which is the factory tint and it's been coming out real sharp. So definitely am a fan of the window tint on these vehicles. Coming along towards the back, definitely you can tell it's a Kia Carnival uh, by kind of the size and shape and kind of have that big Kia logo right there, dead center. I love the light bar uh, on the backup lights on this car, the reverse lights. Um, this does have a auto lift gate, so when you stand next to the vehicle after about 10 seconds, it'll beep at you twice, and then the gate will lift automatically. And then it also has where you can lift it from the key fob, or you can lift it uh, from inside the vehicle, um, or the just the flat out button on the back of the car. Uh, definitely really cool. You do have the little shark fin up there for your AM, FM, and satellite radios. And then up there, you have your windshield wiper kind of coming down from the top, which I like the coming down from the top um, wipers instead of, you know, from the bottom and up. So definitely a feature that I like a lot. So let me go ahead and show you the third row here. So gonna go ahead and just press this button there. It is an auto. I don't have it set up for the for the smart lift gate yet, and I'll show you how to set that up here uh, towards the middle of the video. But coming into the back, you see all of this room back here. These third row seats do fold down flat into the floor. Uh, right now, there's the the cargo mat and all the all of the little uh, regular mats are just down there until we sell the vehicle. But this guy does have really easy instructions to do for the stow and go which are printed right there on the back of the vehicle. Uh, it's super easy. You just pull this handle and then it folds forward and then you pull that little guy and then it just kind of folds into itself. So uh, not, not too hard. That part's not too hard. You do have a uh, 12 volt back here. So if you go camping or if you have electronics that you need to, to power, you have that right here in the back. You have your cubby spaces right here on the left. Uh, which is kind of cool and then there's dozens of accessories that you can get and that's what these little hooks are for right there so you can always go in and uh, purchase some accessories uh, for the back of this vehicle I'm gonna give you just a shot of the car there like I said you do have the entertainment screens on this model this one does have the uh, middle seat um, package right there so that middle seat does fold down to a little table and then um, you do have the sensors right there on the roof. Pretty nifty. You do have sunshades for your third row. So right here on the EX model, you can pull up these little sunshades there for your third row passengers. And then you have that sunshade also for your second row passengers as well. Not too shabby. Okay. I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna press the button there. That way you have multiple options on how you wanna press that. I'm just gonna do a standard close gonna beep at me letting me know that door is coming down and there it is all right so let's take a look at the second row of this vehicle and before we do that I'm just gonna stop at the window sticker here and show you kind of what the EX has in in store for you you have the 19 inch machine finished alloy wheels forward sensors parking distant warning smart cruise control with stop and go highway drive assist the built-in navigation with a 12.23 inch screen, uh, Kia Connect, Sirius, Sirius XM radio, smart hands-free power lift gate, we already talked about that. Passenger view and passenger talk, which we'll talk about and I'll show here in a minute. Tri-zone automatic temperature control, so the front can control the temperature in all the different positions of the car. Wireless phone charger and second and third row sunshades. So I just wanna stop at that EX. Those are what you get in an EX versus the lesser trim of this vehicle. This still isn't even the highest trim level of this car. So uh, like I said earlier, you can open this side door multiple different ways. You can just do a simple tug and then she opens up not horrible at all right here on the inside of the a pillar you have a physical button right there uh, which you can press and that'll also open up the door you have uh, buttons on the inside of the vehicle in the driver's position which i will uh, go over here when we get into that position of the vehicle and then you have oh those are my personal keys not the right keys here we go so many keys what's the worst part of my job is all the keys in my pocket you have the uh, buttons there on the key fob as well. Plus you have the remote start on the key fob also. 
All right, this would be a good time to say, uh, if you like what you see here, uh, please like and subscribe and boop that like button and that subscribe button uh, if you like what you see. Definitely helps me out, let you see what I have coming up on my channel. Uh, but this would be a good stopping point to uh, say boop that like button and that subscribe button if you like what you see. All right, so let's go into the second row. So in the second row, you have the three seat configuration here, one, two, three. These seats are fully adjustable. You can see there in the tracks on the floor, uh, the little hook where the, where the mats go, but you can see the tracks of how far you can actually position these seats. And you position them with the little pull handle right underneath. You can control uh, your, with this button here on the side, it'll control the, the seat positioning. So that's how you get into the third row with that back lever. So that back lever, and again, it shows you right there on the little di diagram, that'll move this guy forward, slice forward in the track. And then you can hop back into the third row, which is where I'm now sitting. So inside the third row, you do have a USB port for both seats. You have those sunshades like I was talking about earlier, a little pocket for, sorry, a little uh, tray there to hold items. And then you have your drink cup hold your cup holders same thing on this side as well now can a full-size adult fit back here uh yeah i'm not 100 percent uncomfortable um i'm gonna hop over here now i'm in the right hand side of the vehicle in the third row my knees do touch the back but this leather is really really soft so i'm not uncomfortable um actually my back's uncomfortable and i know why because these headrests are not there we go. Sorry about the angle there. But now I position that headrest, as you can see. And now that that headrest is up, there we go. Not exactly digging into my back like it was. So if you're back here, make sure you uh, do that headrest. You do have the little buttons here on the headrest right there on the left-hand side that maneuver the headrest up and down. And uh, that way you can do that. You do have your seat hook right there for your seatbelt. And then you have your sensors there uh, which we'll go over here in just a second not too shabby so let's take a look and pull this guy see what that does oh there we go look what that does that closes that from the front honestly i've been selling these carnivals for a couple years now and i didn't realize they had a pull strap on the front to drop that third row not too shabby now how am I gonna get out of here? So, let's see. I'm gonna pull this, this strap here in the middle one down. Nope, I am just gonna hop over. Okay. We always learn. So I am 5'9", 5'10", 175 pounds, and I am able to get through that pretty easily without having to, uh, you know, any kind of strain. I'm going to go ahead and move this seat position back to where it was. Again, pardon the camera angles there. Okay, perfect. Now let's take a look at this middle seat. This middle seat, this seat is going to give you some problems the first time around. Um, even when I show this car to customers, um, it kind of can be a little bit pain in the butt if you don't know what you're doing. I'm going to go ahead and pull this strap first. It's going to drop that. As you can see, again, like I said, you have this little table with your cup holders and your cell phone holders built in right there. You can push in this headrest, which I don't think I could do one handedly. Oh, yes, I can. There you go. Now, OK, what do we do with this thing? Well, like, as I showed earlier, you have a bar underneath there. So if I pull that bar. Let me do it the other hand. If I pull that bar. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do it one-handed. But if you pull that bar, you're gonna be able to slide forward. Um, so that little tray can be up here uh, in all that open space, or you can even slide it more backwards, uh, which is kind of cool. So you can move that guy around. Now, the beauty of the carnival is that all of these seats are removable. So um, you can take out the second row, put the third row down into the floor, and then you can camp back here you can sleep in this thing. I've had people put air mattresses and all kinds of things in this thing. So definitely um, 
a lot of options when it comes to the interior of this vehicle. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys again, uh, just kind of the front cabin right there, which is kind of cool. As you can see, not too shabby at all. And then you have these entertainment screens. So these entertainment screens kind of time out. So I haven't used them. So we have to turn it on with the on button, which is going to be right here. Press that button and then it comes alive. Not horrible at all. So you have some options here. You can go straight to YouTube, the internet, your media player, games, uh, your apps that you download, uh, which are kind of cool. You have your settings down here. So I'm going to, uh, Oops, I don't want that. I wanted to go back up. How do I go back up? Oops, I didn't want to do that either. There we go. I honestly have only sold like two of these in a whole year that have these entertainment screens in them. And we could figure this out. There we go. You just It's got this plasticky film. You want to go back a step with that button there. There we go. So back a step, that closes it. Brightness, um, that probably cancels it, and that's your volume. But over here on the right-hand side, you have mirroring. So that will mirror with your smartphone, which is really cool. And if we go back a step again right there, you have HDMI. So if you have one of those little Nintendos that have the HDMI cables, you could plug it into the... Uh, well, those are the USB ports, but there, right there is the micro SD port. HDMI must be on this side. Yep, HDMI and aux right there. You can Bluetooth the uh, headphones, so you can use your own headphones, and that's going to be right there. Um, you can Bluetooth, you know, your AirPods, that kind of thing. Uh, you have all your display settings down here, general, device, and then Wi-Fi. So this is going to need Wi-Fi in order for it to work. So that's going to be, um, you know, up to you guys. So you, this car... Um, can have Wi-Fi hotspot with most models and we'll double check if this one has it here in just a second But your phones can create a Wi-Fi hotspot. You could buy a Wi-Fi hotspot from Verizon or AT&T and power this thing um, But yeah, you're gonna need some Wi-Fi to work the majority of these features unless you're hardwiring it into the vehicle But that is the entertainment screens both left and right. Let me actually show you something if I'm gonna let me hop over to this screen because when you start this guy, you're going to have an initial setup screen. So it's going to have you select language, English, and then it's going to right away have you try and connect to a Wi-Fi source. So let's just skip because you don't really need that. Again, now it's going to go to Bluetooth. That way you can hook some headphones to it of your choosing. I'm going to hit skip there. So now you're going to ask you, where is this positioned, left or right? We're going to choose right because it's on the right hand side. Click next. And then you are going to have this option here. It's going to, well, it's going to show you, you could download some apps. You can, uh, it'll show you the positioning like I just showed you. And then you get back to your main screen. So a super easy setup process. Not bad at all. You can control the climate from the right hand side of the second row as well. Uh, so that's just your air and your temperature. Your directionals right there in the middle. Face, face feet or both. Uh, auto climate or you could turn the whole thing off you have your vents right up there on the roof for your top ones you have your sensors and then this ex has that camera the passenger camera which i will show you guys here in a second you have your standard lights here which are uh, touch lights if you have them activated which i just i don't have them activated just yet and then you have your door here so remember I said there's multiple ways that you can get out of this thing. One way I forgot is you have the handle right here. You can just give that guy a tug and then she opens. So what is that now? One, two, three, four, five. There's five ways to open the door of this carnival. Give this guy another little tug right there and then it closes. Okay, let's go to my favorite part of any vehicle and that is the cabin. That's where I spend, the front cabin, that's where I spend a lot of my time because I'm typically always the driver. Uh, but let's take a look and see what options this front cabin has on the EX Carnival. So right away, the gray interior, you kind of can see right there with the gray center console, the gray on the outside. Um, the seats themselves are black, which I think is an interesting uh, 
an interesting concept when it says that the interior is gray, but only the trim is gray and the headliner is gray. The actual seats on this is black. Um, I like black, but it's just an, it's just a weird uh, it's a weird thing to look at. Right away, left to right, you have your window locks. You have your one-touch window controls for uh, the four windows. You have your um, lock and unlock and your mirror controls right there. This guy does have the power seat on the driver's side, which is really cool. Um, and then you have your airbags. A lot of people always ask where the airbags are. Right there, built into the seat that will, um, you know, heaven forbid there's an accident, they will deploy from right there in the driver's seat uh, on the driver's side for the driver. Okay, let's get into the car. Right away, I am super comfortable in this car. Um, the Carnival is not my favorite vehicle. I really don't have a use for it myself, um, but it is a, really an amazing vehicle for what it is. So I don't, uh, I, I don't, uh, I don't not like it because it's not cool. It's just not for me. But it definitely is if you are driving around um, kids or going on long trips. I, th these carnivals are awesome. Kind of coming to the panel here, you have your illumination control that'll make this. Uh, center screen here brighter or darker you have your lane keep assist your traction control down here you can open the doors like I was saying you can open the trunk and then you can turn the power door on or off uh, that is your fuse box you really don't need nothing in there uh, you can control the steering wheel um, it goes up and down and in and out so it's a fully telescopic steering wheel now I like this screen here uh, when the door is open because it shows you what door is open so right there you can see that my left hand side door is open i'm going to go ahead and close that and then in real time it is going to show you that that door is going to now be closed which is really cool kind of a fan of that especially when you don't realize if your trunk is slightly open or if your kid leaves one of the doors slightly open um, it's actually a pretty cool feature to have coming here the steering wheel moving left to right you have your um your voice control there for your smartphone or for the Kia system itself. You have mode. Mode's gonna go ahead and give you some audio options. So your Bluetooth, your phone projection, sounds of nature, which is key is kind of little relaxing meditation um, sounds, any music you may have, you're on a USB and then FM radio. So you can select which ones there you might be using. And then that way you only cycle through the ones that you want. Anytime you see a star button, it is a customizable button. So this button here is star. This is answer call. Now star, like I said, is customizable. If we go back to this screen, you can see it say reject a call, charge hands, uh, change hands-free calling device, privacy mode, passenger talk, voice memo, home mats, reroute cancel, passenger view, uh, which is a really cool feature, which I'm gonna show you guys in a minute. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to make it reject or end a call just because naturally that's kind of where you want to be. This is answer a call. This is reject a call. It's just muscle memory kind of probably where you're going to be going with your fingers when you're talking on the phone. The right hand side. Right hand side you have your two pages button which manipulates this screen in front of you. So if you press that button you go left to right. Now the toggle switch right underneath goes up and down. So you go left to right, and then that toggle switch can move you up and down. Now my favorite screen on these, a lot of people love this one. You'd be surprised how many times someone wants it on the digital speedometer. And even though there is a speedometer right here on the right hand side, people love that digital speedometer. So it is there if you uh, cannot find it. It's again the two pages button under the little car and go all the way to the bottom. I like, um, where is it? Since refueling, I kind of like that screen the most because then it tells you your average miles per gallon on that trip. When you're driving, this little bar will move up and down between zero and 50. So it's telling you your fuel economy. Up there where it says 40 miles, that's 40 miles till empty. 48 degrees outside as of right now. That little car with the lanes next to it, that is telling you that your cruise, con your adaptive, sorry, not cruise control, your lane keep assist is active. And then this car has 16 miles on it. And there is a little gas light there saying that, hey, low fuel, you have 40 miles till empty. And the low fuel light pops on just in case um, you need to get to a service station pretty quick. Now you do have adaptive cruise control right there. So that is car length. So if you, um, 
like the cruise control but you don't care about your speed you can set it to multiple different car lengths and if the car in front of you does 100 at three car lengths you will do 100 if it slows down uh, you will slow down and then it has that stop and go cruise control so once they start again then you will go again so which is really cool a lot of people like it and then you have your old-fashioned cruise control button right here um, you really can't demonstrate it while we're parked uh, but it is right there and then you have your other toggle switches here uh, to go up and down. And then these toggle switches for your cruise control to set your speed. All right, so let's move over to the infotainment system. So we're probably going to spend a, a good chunk of time here telling you the kind of the really cool features right away. Uh, you, this is a tri screen, so you have three different levels. You have the inlay of your maps right here. You have your radio controls right there. So if I just tap on the map out there, it's going to give me the map. One thing I want to point out is you see that little white arrow right there. If you press that white arrow, it will collapse into the big three screen view. Uh, but if you do like the big screen and one little screen, then you can click that arrow. Now inside here, it's customizable, so you can move up and down. So you got time, compass, calendar, passenger talk. Let's talk passenger talk. So passenger talk is the intercom. Let's see if it works. So I don't know how well it demonstrates here with the video, but now when you talk, it uses the intercom system in the car. That way you don't have to yell at the people in the second or third row. You can talk in your normal voice and um, have that kind of communication. So kind of cool. Passenger talk is, is kind of a really popular feature on these third row SUVs. Uh, weather, AM, FM, I don't know why I give you two maps um, and compass. You can manipulate this to show you different things too in the settings. You can take out the compass if you don't want it there and you could add other things. So you can manipulate on what kind of content you want there. Uh, what I always say is little house takes you home. So that little house button right there on the left will take you kind of to the main screen, which this is a full touch screen. So if you just slide it to the left, that's how you get to your main screen. Navigation menu is really cool. So you have points of interest categories. You can search uh, for your navigation. You can also you know, set favorites down there by setting in the addresses of your favorite places. It takes you to Kia dealerships. You have the traffic um, if you have the... Um, the traffic notifications for HD traffic in your area. The town I live in doesn't subscribe to it, so we don't get HD traffic here or HD Doppler. But uh, if you're in, in an area that subscribes to those stations, those will pop up for you. POI categories is kind of cool. I've used it many times while traveling in my Kia, especially to find restaurants and fast food. It's really easy to find an Applebee's or a Chili's or something right there. Um, roadside assistance is built into this car. So a brand new Carnival, you do get a five year 60 roadside assistance, um, which if you don't want to carry that roadside number with you all the time, you can just press that button and it'll connect you to different places for roadside, um, you know, like towing and, and body shops. But if you do go up here to this top, you also have the roadside assistance button up here, which I believe is this one. Let's see if it says that. Yep, transmiss transmitting information to roadside. It's not connected to my phone yet, so I don't gotta worry about it calling, but uh, that's kind of cool. A little arrow takes you back. A little house takes you home. Uh, you can phone with, uh, you can pair your phone with Bluetooth uh, with that phone button right there. You have phone projection here, which you would connect Apple CarPlay or Android Auto with your USB cable. Memos, valet mode, passenger talk, passenger view. So let's talk passenger view. So passenger view is kind of cool. You click that. What it's going to do is it's going to show you, we're using that camera, what's going on back there. So if you got kids, adults, I mean, if you just want to see what's going on back there while you're driving, who's hitting who, uh, you got that passenger view, which is very useful. I've had a couple of customers tell me that it's a lifesaver for them. So um, one of those cool things that you can use. And what I really like is when you click passenger view, notice um, passenger talk pops up as your third option there. So that's kind of cool. So that way it's, it's kind of intuitive. I'm curious when I hit settings what it does. Oh, brightness and contrast. Cool. Go back right there. So that is passenger view. Um, only in the Kia Carnival at this time, so that's kind of cool. Quiet mode. Quiet mode if you're going on long trips um, and you have people sleeping in the back, you can play the music from your vehicle only in the front speakers, uh, not in the rear speakers, so that way 
uh, those guys can sleep back there and then it'll only play it at, at a volume of I believe like 25 oh seven so all volume levels will be above seven will be decreased down to seven when activating quiet mode I would demonstrate it but then YouTube would give me a copyright infringement so don't want to do that rear climate control like I said you can control your rear climate uh, from here you can lock out the climate uh, for your back passengers as well uh, you can set your defoggers to auto um, all that kind of cool stuff HD radio data this is what I was talking about where um, if your city subscribes to having the HD service uh, if it's available in your area you will get HD traffic Doppler radar and HD fuel prices HD is not high definition HD is the name of the company just in case that is a, a thing that you guys want to look at let's go right into setup real quick be nice if I hit the button uh, setup a lot of the time you're gonna spend with this car setting up the car is obviously gonna be in setup I strongly recommend going to user profile first set up your user profiles you can change this little um, your little guy right there and you go to let's just go to driver one and two and guest but let's say driver one confirm oh sorry I didn't do that right where was I set up user profile uh change change user there we go let's go to driver two confirm we're gonna switch profile looks like someone already set this up probably oh no here we go you have skip and start i would say start english obviously what kind of keyboard you like let's go cordy you can whatever name you want to name your profile you would go ahead and set it right there um that's kind of where i'm going to stop just uh but you can also set your picture you can set up your kia connect um, you can do a lot of different stuff right there by switching your profile. Now, the reason I say do that first is because if you go into setup and then you go to vehicle, which is where you're probably going to spend about an hour playing around with these settings, you can set everything customizable. You can do your your um, lane safeties, your you can make it beep at you, you can do the active lane assist, you can do all that kind of stuff. Um, you can make it customizable however you want. You could turn it off even if you wanted to. Um, your cluster so you can do the welcome sound I'm going to turn that on you can do this is where you set your service interval you can do your cluster theme so you would have theme a B and C so let's see oh look what it did so vehicle will turn off automatically in 24 minutes and 55 seconds so that is something if you're idling for a long time like I am um, eventually you will get that little uh, indicators saying hey we're gonna go ahead and turn the car off here in a couple of you know in a half hour you can also set it to an hour as well uh, but you do have this cool little uh, idle warning here that will shut off your vehicle if you're idling too long but let's try what this was so well, I'm gonna go ahead and press OK and then we're gonna change the theme so I don't know if you can kind of see because of the glare but right up here it's changing the color of that bar. It's gonna, it's gonna probably be better in this, in the, in the when you're actually looking at it, because it's not really transmitting to camera as much as I would like. But yeah, theme selection, climate control, lights, so you can change your one-touch signal lights, your high beam assist, which is really cool. So if other cars are coming at you, it'll adjust your high beams for you. Your doors. This is where I was saying you can enable the two press unlock, the smart sliding doors. So that's one thing I didn't talk about in this video. You also not only have the smart rear door, but on the carnival, you have smart sliding doors. So it'll automatically open when you approach it with the key, which is really cool. It's gonna beep at you a couple of times. So if you're like heading directly for that sliding door, it's gonna beep at you and then it'll open. If you're going towards the driver door, you shouldn't have a problem with that sliding door opening automatically. You can change the opening speed and height of your power lift gate. You could turn on the smart lift gate and lift gate auto close, which I really like. So that closes the lift gate automatically when the smart key is no longer nearby. That is a newer feature, and I really wish more of our key has had that, including, uh, including mine. So definitely fun there. Play around with the settings as much as you like. I'm not going to go through all of this, but you can play with the sound, the screen, the, the buttons, uh, the display. You can do all of that kind of stuff. If you have this data network, which is pretty important here in this carnival, you have the Wi-Fi hotspot. So Wi-Fi hotspot right there, 
This is where you would enable that Wi-Fi hotspot in order to provide the Wi-Fi for the tablets in the back or laptops or any of that kind of stuff that you're going to be using. I believe you do get three gigabytes or three months for free uh, when you enable it for the first time. And then after that, you would uh, have to go through Verizon to have the wireless hotspot in the car. Um, but a super cool feature if you're gonna be using those TVs, those, uh, those screens there in the back. One last thing I wanna show you on the infotainment system, just like I said, there's a lot going here. Where am I at? Gotta go back a step, gotta scroll over, Kia Connect. Your salesperson should be setting this up for you because it's important for one, but you have 911 Connect right there, which if your phone is connected, it will call 911 for you and more than likely give them your location as well if your phone is connected and um, activate Kia Connect service. Now this is gonna be our our app. So this is Kia's app. This gives you remote climate, remote start, remote lock, free for the first year. And then there's different tiers that you can purchase after the first year with different features available. You also have like auto locate, um, disable the engine if it's ever stolen, things like that. Um, super easy. Like I said, your salesperson should be walking through this with you and setting it up not only because it's important for you as the customer but you know we also get paid for it so i don't see why another um another sales rep wouldn't set this up for you it's kind of counterintuitive because we kind of we kind of get our beak wet a little bit from kia for making sure that you guys understand and have your app activated so nothing it's nothing we're not getting rich off of it but we get a couple of bucks thrown our way when you get to this part, you can enter your phone number or your email address. I 100% recommend doing the phone number. It's a lot easier. It'll send you a link. You follow the link, then it'll send you a code, and then you click um, the, the another screen will pop up once you hit your phone number, and then you just click the code in, and then it just downloads. So it's actually super easy. But again, I wanted to go through Key and Connect. All right. Let's scoot along real quick because this video is getting kind of long in the tooth. Uh, you do have your climate control right here. It is dual climate control. You have your blower speeds right there with those little buttons there for the little one is little uh, to, to go down. The top one is big to go up. You have your directionals, how you like your air, your directionals there again. Oh, yes, your circulated air. Your directions there for you know feet or face, kind of where you want the air blowing you on that. Front defroster, rear defroster, dual climates right there. And then you can click this and go right into the rear climate and it'll change that screen for you. You can turn the whole thing off for the rear or you can turn the whole thing off in general. If you press any of these buttons, the screen comes alive. You have your USB ports down there. That's also where you would hook up right there in the middle where you'd hook up your USB cable for Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. You have your cup holders here with your cell phone holder there in the middle, standard shifter. You have your drive mode, drive mode if you press it you will come up here and go into eco mode, sport, smart, normal. I say eco for the majority of time is what you're going to want to uh, use, but smart is pretty fun if you, if you like to play around in smart. Heated seats right there, both driver and passenger. Forward parking sensors, which should be turned on, and then you press that button for the camera and it'll show you your rear camera view. You have your center cubby here, which is really cool. Pretty deep little center cubby. And then you have your cup holders and cell phone holder right there. Um, all of your controls are up here as well for your uh, lights for the, uh, the top console there. You can set it to where the lights turn on is when you open the car door. You have Kia Connect, which will take you into your Kia Connect settings when you press that. Well, actually we don't have Kia Connect set up, so it's not gonna do anything. But then you have your uh, your roadside assistance button right there in bright and red so you never have to remember the roadside roadside number well guys that is the kia carnival ex in ceramic silver with the gray interior package if you made it this far thank you for watching uh if you have any questions uh let me know if i can help you purchase a car uh, reserve a car anything like that just let me know if you're in a 500 mile radius of me it's super easy to do uh, but I appreciate you guys watching this far and don't forget to boop that like and subscribe button and hopefully I see you guys down at the dealership.